Welcome to our educational blog post on the working process of an operations support system, OSS. In the fast-paced world of telecommunications, OSS plays a crucial role in managing and supporting network operations. Let's dive in and explore how an OSS works and its significance in ensuring smooth network operations. Overview of an operations support system. An operations support system, or OSS, is a set of software applications, tools, and infrastructure used by telecommunication service providers to monitor, manage, and maintain their networks. It acts as the central nervous system of a telecommunications network, providing functionalities that streamline network operations. Components of an operations support system. An OSS typically consists of several key components, each serving a specific purpose. 1. Network Inventory Management. This component maintains an accurate inventory of network resources, such as network elements, devices, and circuits. It keeps track of their physical and logical characteristics, locations, and relationships, enabling efficient network planning and troubleshooting. 2. Fault Management. Fault management detects, isolates, and resolves network faults or abnormalities. It monitors the network for errors, alarms, and performance issues, and triggers appropriate actions or notifications to ensure timely resolution of problems. 3. Performance Management Performance management focuses on monitoring and analyzing network performance metrics, such as throughput, latency, and packet loss. It helps identify potential bottlenecks, optimize network resources, and ensure service quality meets predefined standards. 4. Service provisioning. Service provisioning involves the end-to-end -end process of delivering new services or modifying existing services. It includes activities such as service activation, configuration, and resource allocation. The OSS automates these processes, reducing manual intervention and minimizing errors. Workflow of an operations support system. The workflow of an OSS typically involves the following steps. 1. Data collection. The OSS gathers real-time data from network elements, management systems, and other sources. This data includes performance statistics, alarms, and configuration information. 2. Data Processing and Analysis The collected data is processed and analyzed to identify trends, anomalies, and potential issues. This analysis helps in making informed decisions for network optimization and troubleshooting. 3. Alarm Management the OS handles alarms generated by network elements and systems. It prioritizes alarms based on severity, correlates related alarms, and initiates appropriate actions for fault resolution. 4. Performance Monitoring Performance monitoring involves continuous tracking and reporting of key performance indicators KPAs. The OSS compares these metrics against predefined thresholds and triggers alerts or actions when deviations occur. 5. Service Provisioning and Activation The OSS facilitates the provisioning and activation of services requested by customers. It automates service activation workflows, validates configurations, and ensures resources are allocated correctly. 6. Reporting and Analytics The OSS generates reports and provides analytics to support decision-making processes. It offers insights into network performance, resource utilization, customer behavior, and other relevant aspects. Conclusion In conclusion, an operations support system, OSS, is an essential component of telecommunication networks. It streamlines network operations, enhances efficiency, and ensures the delivery of high-quality services. By understanding the working process of an OSS, service providers can optimize their network management practices, improve customer satisfaction, and stay ahead in the competitive telecommunications industry. We hope this blog post has provided valuable insights into the functioning of an operations support system. If you have any further questions or would like to explore the topic in more detail, feel free to reach out to us. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Happy networking!